Hi kids! Today in math, we're going to be talking about numbers in the teens having a group of 10. And that's the activity we're going to do today. But first, we're going to watch a video of a song that we would do if we were in class called Numbers in the Teens Have a Group of 10. So let's see if we can get this going on. A picture is in the way. Here we go. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. Ten is a group of ten and zero extra ones. Eleven is a group of ten and one extra one. Twelve is a group of ten and two extra ones. Thirteen is a group of ten and three extra ones. Fourteen is a group of ten and four extra ones. Fifteen is a group of ten and five extra ones. Sixteen is a group of ten and six extra ones. Seventeen is a group of ten and seven extra ones. 18 is a group of 10 and 8 extra ones. 19 is a group of 10 and 9 extra ones. Get loud! Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of 10. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of 10. Ten is a group of ten and zero extra ones. Eleven is a group of ten and one extra one. Twelve is a group of ten and two extra ones. Thirteen is a group of ten and three extra ones. Hey, let's pause it. Is it really thirteen? How can we really know that this is thirteen? Do you believe that there are 10 there? Or do you know that there are 10 there? 10 cubes. Let's find out. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 cubes. So it's a group of 10. So they put one group of 10. And then there are one, two, three. There's three all by themselves. So there's three extra ones. And so a three goes there. And 10 plus three equals 13. So it is 13. And numbers in the teens start with a one. So that worked out good, a one and a three. All right, let's keep going. 14 is a group of 10 and 4 extra ones. 15 is a group of 10 and 5 extra ones. 16 is a group of 10 and 6 extra ones. 17 is a group of 10 and 7 extra ones. 18 is a group of 10 and 8 extra ones. 19 is a group of 10 and 9 extra ones. Get loud! Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. Come on, everybody, let's sing it again. Numbers in the teens have a group of ten. Perfect! So numbers in the teens have a group of ten. That is what we're going to do today. So gather your group of ten cubes. You can put them together if you want, like a tower, just like they did. But you'll also need your other ones that aren't connected because we're going to be using those extra ones too. Let's see. Get out of this. And we'll come over here to our math activity for today. Now for this, you'll also want your 10 frame that I put in your parents' um, distance learning packet. So this and your cubes are going to come in handy. So here we have your 10 frame, we have your cubes, and you have your math paper. 
And right here in front, uh, in front of you for your math paper, there's a 10 frame and it has cubes on it. So go ahead and on your 10 frame, put 10 cubes for your group of 10. So go ahead and do that and you can pause it while you are, wait, while you finish doing that. And then when you are done getting your group of 10, keep it there because you'll need it the whole time. It looks like there's some extra ones right here. How many extras do we need? One, two, three. So you'll need to put three not on your 10 frame, but next to your 10 frame because those are extras and they don't need to be connected. See how these are not connected? They're all separate. So you already know that this is a group of 10. How many groups of 10 are there? Well, I only see one 10 frame. It has 10 dots in it, 10 circles, but it's only one group of 10. It's one 10 frame. So it says 10 right here. How many groups of 10? One group of 10. So you'll write a one right here. And then it wants to know how many extras do you have? Well, we counted one, two, three. Three ones, it says ones. So you'll write a three. Now I can't write on my screen, but you can write on your paper. And it will have one, 10, and three ones. What number does that look like? If you said 13, that's correct. Because I want you to count them. We have 10 here. We don't need to count that. We know that in our head. So hold a 10 in your head. So we have 10. What comes next after 10? 11, 12, 13. And look at that. A 1, a 10, and three ones is 13. So go ahead and do the rest of the activity on your own. And go ahead and pause it while you are doing it because when you're done I want you to check your answers so pause this video and then push play and see if you have the same answers that I do so ready pause and do your math awesome Okay, have you finished? Well, let's check to see if your answers look like my answers. So we did the first one together. One group of 10 and three ones, and that was 13. The letter B, it has one group of 10. So we, you wrote a one. And then how many were by themselves? One, two, three, four, five. So you wrote a five here. One ten and five ones makes 15. We can count that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The next one, one group of 10. So a one here. And how many ones by themselves? Four, good job. You did a great job on that one. So you have written a four. And to count it, how do we count it? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Great job. All right, our next one. Oh, that's a lot of dots. I know you did it though, and I know you worked hard at it. One group of 10. So you have a one right there. How many were by themselves? Wow. Huh. I see groups of three here. So maybe you counted by threes. Or maybe you counted by ones. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, I don't need to count one, two. Oh, yeah. I will count one, two, three. That way we'll know what number to write. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
write a nine. But if you counted by threes, then you would have counted three, six, nine. Nine ones. And when we put ten and nine together, it makes nineteen. Oh, I bet you got this last one in like one second flat. You have your one group of ten and your one all by itself. A one and a one and a one. One ten and one one it makes what number? Eleven. Two thumbs up. Great job. Now to practice more, you can practice with your ten frame and your cubes and you can have the grown-up that's helping you they could make a teen number using the 10 frame and the extra ones or maybe you could create a 10 and some extra ones and see if they know what number it is and how many there are all together great job today keep up the good work see you soon bye